I share a point, enthusiasts. I suddenly realized that there are a lot of people out there who don't know that it's possible to edit SharePoint lists directly using Microsoft Access. Why Access, you laugh? That's an old tool. Well, I'm here to tell you that it still has its uses. First of all, you don't have to buy it separately. It's part of the Microsoft 365 subscription and it has quite a few advantages over the out-of-the-box SharePoint. Standard SharePoint features include a few options for working with lists, but the Edit in Grid View feature only works for some basic scenarios. It won't cut it when you need to work with many thousands of records. Exporting to Excel is limited to 5000 items, and it's read-only. Export to CSV is also read-only, and the resulting CSV file has no service connection to SharePoint, meaning that you need to export a new CSV file each time something is updated. PowerShell PNP is still an option for working with large lists. However, most users aren't familiar with it or don't have the technical ability to run this kind of automation in their secure corporate environments. Microsoft Access to the Rescue Among many other services, Access can connect to SharePoint lists. I'll show you how. Assuming you have Microsoft 365 Office installed, there's a good chance you already have Microsoft Access on your computer. So let's launch it. First, let's create a new blank Access database. Now let's create an external connection to a SharePoint online list. Paste a URL to a SharePoint site that contains a list. Make sure link to the data source by creating a link table is selected. Select one or more SharePoint lists. Now you can edit the loaded SharePoint lists directly from Microsoft Access. Your changes will show up right away in the SharePoint site. Advantages of using Access. So what are the advantages of using Access? Well, first of all, Access has the familiar Excel-like user interface. Second, you don't need any software programming skills to use it with very large lists. It's great for large bulk operations. Third, you can also work with lookup fields, user fields, file attachments, choice fields, and so on. What's more, you can even create and delete list columns right from Access. Of course, Access does have some limitations. For example, you have to click Refresh to get fresh data from SharePoint, and only one person at a time can open the Access file. So, next time you need to edit a large SharePoint list, think of Microsoft Access. It may be old, but it's free, and it's an easy, useful tool sitting right there in your toolbox.